Hi everyone, this is Bethany, BA Crafty Girl, and I had to bust out the big tripod today <laughs> to do a tutorial for you. I'm going to show how I did the shaped card in my birthday, I guess it's a little series, my birthday card series, what I, when I um, used those um, two girls. Um, it was a Stamping Bella stamp, and what I did was as I used my Spellbinders Labels 8. It is um, classified, I guess, as like a mega die or something like that. It's not like super big, but it's kind of, you know, bigger than your other nest abilities. Like, another one would be, um, oh, I don't have it. Oh. I don't have it out, but I think it's labels 25. That one's really big too. So I am going to show you uh, how to make this um, into a shaped card base. So what you do is you take a card base like this. This is like a weird angle, I'm sorry. You take a regular card base, eight and a half by 11 piece of paper and you cut it um, vertically so that it's a long skinny strip like this. So you cut on the four and a quarter mark and then you score it to get like a regular sized card base. You don't have to have the fold over here. I just like to, you can, you know, do it regularly and have the fold up here, but your card is going to be different. Like it'll be like, you'd line it up like this. You wouldn't line it up over here. So anyway, what you do is you take whatever die you're using and you line it up on the fold, but you don't like put it over the fold like this or it's going to cut the fold off. So you kind of hang it over the fold like that so that it's hanging off. And you want to make sure that, you know, you're not hanging off the other edge either. And if you wanted to use a piece of scotch tape to hold it in place, you could. I don't usually do that. So anyway, here's what's going to go in the machine. I have my Sizzix um, Big Kick right here. And I am going to try not to make a mess. <laughs> and um, the sandwich is um, your your uh, multi-purpose platform, all the tabs down, your uh, cutting plate, and then I'm going to put this on top. I'm just making sure that it's still lined up. And then you have your other cutting plate on top. And then I'm just looking right here to see that it's still lined up. And then you just feed it through <laughs> as the camera falls over. And it will be a little tough to push through because you're cutting through two layers of paper. And then you, I run it back through. Sorry, the camera's shaking. It's because the table is shaking because I'm running this through. And then I run it back through just to be on the safe side. And then here it is. Ta-da! And here's your uh, shaped card. So all there is to it, it's pretty simple. Um, because you're doing such a thick, um, you're doing, you know, two pieces of paper, it's going to automatically do the embossing for you, which I, I like. Um, with this die in particular, the next size down um, is quite a bit smaller. So what I did on that card is I cut my pattern paper with this die and then trimmed off um, the um, embossed edge so that it still left the edge of the craft 
and um, and it was a nice border. So yeah, just make sure you don't put anything over on this side of the fold or it'll cut the fold off and it won't be a card anymore. So there's that. So any nestabilities that you have that are a little on the long side are perfect for this. Or if you want to make a mini card, you can use any of your nestabilities. So uh, thank you very much for watching and I hope this was um, a helpful tutorial. See you in the next one. Bye!